Hello and welcome to my 100% Doom 2 walkthrough. Today we're doing the refueling base or E1M10 or Map 10. We're nearing the end of the first quote unquote episode for Doom 2. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with the refueling base. You now let's start off right here next to the intro door. Right before the stairs to the right, first secret. Let's go ahead and load up on some of that shotgun ammo. You're going to need it. Look at those stats. There's 279 base monsters, not including the pain or the pain elementals, which will shoot out some lost souls. 18 secrets, most of them secret passages between rooms, and 100 items. So this is a collector's dream map, and we're going to end this level with 200 health and armor too. So we'll make sure we we do that as well. Come out here, take a shot, alert a lot of monsters to your presence. We're gonna try to do as much infighting as we can. Gonna hide right here behind the corner. Kill people who come around. Or however you decide to do this. A lot of imps, so you want to knock them out as best you can. There we go. And our first pain on Michael already. Focus him down while our friends over here start infighting. There we are. <laughs> These guys came around the corner right at the wrong moment. Okay. So yeah, keep switching between weapons as best as you can. Trying to do this in a way so I'll end up with a little bit of shotgun ammo by the time we get out of these first few rooms. Oh, a slow fireball. We're not gonna go this way first, but I want to clear out these side rooms across the side across the map because we're gonna be coming in from the sides over there, and I don't want to have to deal with these from range. There we go. Got one more imp. I'll be using the chainsaw quite a bit here. Chaining down all these guys. Easy peasy. Get these collectibles down the pit. They're kind of annoying to grab if you wait. Keep on moving forward. Get all these little pickups in the room before or after this next step. Since we're going to alert these guys whenever I fight these specters, I'm going to go ahead and clear them now. I got more than one kill per shot here. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and clean out this. Let's activate. It'll drop down with a few specters. I like to lure them all back to this little hallway. There's not enough space for two of them to get through. You can just sit here and chainsaw them as they come to you. Save quite a bit of ammo. We got a pistol man. I have no idea where he came from. <laughs> Must have missed him in that one room back there. Okay, so now we're gonna go to this room. Get your plasma rifle ready because you're going to have some enemies pop out of these chambers on the side whenever you come through. There you go. I like to take care of all those extra mobs that, were, that came around the sides when I was over there. That way I don't have to blast them too, trying to kill the pain elementals quickly. I saw another monster, I thought. No? Alright, so we're going to do the same thing, except with this side. Just step up on this ledge, and we'll low, or raise that up. Get these guys out as quickly as possible. Chain gun's not a bad choice for cleaning up throughout the map. Things like Lost Souls and uh, Zombie Men. But we're going to rely on the chainsaw for any other cleanup duties. We're gonna hood, pull that out. Don't worry about the slime damage. We're gonna be getting a mega sphere shortly. We're not gonna use this mega sphere I'm talking about to 
get the 200% ending. Alright, pretty full in shells. I'm gonna get my super shotgun out. Stepping into this little flashing light hallway will open up two more doors right here and here. Filled with zombie men. What I like to do, open it, just run around both pillars like so, and they'll start infighting. Once you do that a couple times, you can come over here, make them infight a little bit further if you like. You can still hear them shooting each other accidentally. The more I can make them infight, the better. Especially on this map. Alright, let's kill any stragglers. Oh, nothing in there. Alright, now see the radiation suit that was in there. We're gonna save that for later. Because we'll take a lot of slime damage from something else if we grab that one now. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in here and grab these. Uh, let me make sure I got all the ammo from these side rooms. That one, I'm pretty sure I got this one too, yes. Alright, and with that, we can make our way to the southernmost room. Another chamber filled with enemies. Let's go ahead and blast the shots so they all know we're here. We have a bunch of demons available to us. This one's not going to let me in fight. And try to cause as much infight in between demons and imps as we can. See, there's quite a few pouring out. Once you get all those guys cleared, let's go ahead and use this hallway. Watch your flanks. There's still several imps in that room, but we'll be able to draw all the demons out and take care of them rather easily. Here comes a fireball. There you go. Go have fun with the imp. Come on, fight him. And your reward. Okay. There's not much left in here now. Just two imps that are like trapped in these spotlights. Take those out relatively easily. We're not going left. That room is filled with spider arachnids and imps. We're going to deal with that in a little while. Right now... Uh, we are gonna go this way. We do not have the blue or yellow key, so it's the only way we can go. I do like to use the BFG here. As you can see, we got imps, pain elementals on both sides. We got the, the jump attack here. Let's lure that pain elemental over. Try to shoot him directly. And we can probably chain gun down the rest. Revenant didn't take much damage. Right, whip out the chainsaw. We got a hallway filled with demons and lost souls. All chain gun fodder. You're gonna have to kind of back up as you do this. If you stay in this hallway, you might be able to go to that right hallway. It might be a little bit thinner. But this isn't gonna be that much of an issue. We're about to get a mega sphere right after we clear out these enemies. So if you have as much life as I do right now, you can be semi-reckless. Just chance all these guys down. Serve your ammo. There we are. Now we can come in here. If you're a little bit low, go ahead and... I mean, you can save that if you want. You're, you are going to cap out. If we do that. I'm going to come down here and grab this uh, pulse ammo. Before we go in there, though, to get the secret, we're going to get the, the suit. So I'm going to hop down here, grab the suit, all little health bonuses. Head back this way, and over here we got a wall with like a triangle and a missing segment circuitry behind it. Just hit it. We'll be able to come back this way, just clear out these uh, shotgunners. And there's our mega sphere. I grab the suit because you'll be in the slime for quite a while getting back out. Taking all that extra damage you don't need to when you have max health and armor. Alright, we can go all the way back to this door now. In the upper right corner of the map. 
Let's go ahead and go in here. There's just like a hundred zombie men in this room. I recommend just using the chain gun and blast your way through all these entry level guys. There should be quite a bit pulled up down this hallway by the time you clear out the first room. And then once they stop coming, go ahead and switch the shotgun. So you can start clearing out all the alcoves. There's like four secrets in here. Most of which behind shootable walls. I'll show you which ones momentarily. Two of the secrets we aren't going to grab now. We're going to save the two until the end of the map so we can end up with a 200% health and armor. Oh, almost got a clean shot on me there. Okay. That one that came out of the far right out clove, you don't want to fire at him while he's still in there. You'll see why in a moment. So just draw him out, make sure none of the stray bullets hits the wall behind him. Let's go ahead and pick up all the loot that you can use. Alright, so we got one secret right here. It's got a vision goggles and the mega armor, which we're gonna save. We got where is it? It's one of these. I think. Let's try the first one over here. There you go. There's a soul sphere we're gonna be saving. This wall we're gonna use to exit the area in just a moment. And then we have a drop down or a a raisable wall right here that we can get the collectibles for but do not go all the way through you don't want to go through that door just yet we'll be coming out the other side of there once we get done with this little secret but we have one more wall that can be raised and it's right over here uh, since I opened this one first and I don't want to accidentally alert the demons that are in here there's a bunch of specters sorry so no they're demons we're gonna go ahead and chainsaw these guys down before we tackle that last secret. We don't want these guys coming up behind us while we're dealing with the enemies in the closet over there. There we go. Whatever you do, don't go all the way around to that demon wall. We'll be back to that in one moment. Alright, so... I like to get some space. Fire your pistol and quickly switch to the rocket launcher. Take care of those. And we can deal with these specters that come out afterwards. There are chain two more chain gunners around the corner. And they won't be alerted until we go in there. So we can clear those out. Hop around the corner. Kill all this. Grab all the pickups and the berserk. There we go. Now we're ready to continue. I like to use my rocket launcher on this uh, next part. There, there is a teleporter here, but it doesn't work unless this door is open. So activate it, act like you're about to go out, and you'll be teleported to a secret area. With a friend hanging out right there. You got an invulnerability sphere, which we are going to use in a moment. I just want you to understand what's going to happen. Got a bunch of cell ammo on the right. You might want to use the BFG here, get three or four shots of that out, and then use the rockets to bring him down. But as he moves about the area here, he's going to teleport into these two chambers to the left. He's not going to be in there very long, as as soon as he steps towards, he's going to teleport from that one to this one, and then this one back into this room. And it'll repeat that process as he randomly hits all the uh, teleporting triggers. So we're going to go ahead and grab this one. Cue these out. Plasma rifle if you want. There he goes, he just teleported. And I want to try to kill him before the invulnerability wears out. There, just like that. If you really must, grab the second invulnerability before it runs out or he'll, he'll mess you up good in this little room. But with that, we're gonna go ahead and show you what I'm up to. Through here is a room we already cleared out, and we're going to be going right to that door that I told you not to go through yet. So just grab the invulnerability sphere. 
and make our way to that door. As soon as we go in, and you met with a bunch of imps, Spectre, or uh, not Spectres, but uh, Arachnitrons. I'll go ahead and open that and alert everybody in there. I'm just gonna make some, some rounds here, let the electric, electric Arachnitron aggro a bunch of imps. There we go. You know, get some night vision, some rockets. Shadow Sphere isn't too bad here, causing more infighting. You might think you're locked up here, but you do have a secret exit right here if you really need to get out. But don't open that door yet. This is a good spot to hide and peek around. Alright, looks like we just have imps and lost souls now. some of this chain gun ammo. There. I got a secret here as well, filled with inventory items. How close are we? We're only missing three things. One of them is a night vision and a soul sphere from the, uh, the ending room I want to get 200% on. So we got some more enemies up on ledges, nothing too dangerous. Definitely compared to the rest of the level. Might as well just clear this out with some rockets. Hop up here for a secret. You can just run off that little block there and get up. And lower this. More secrets, more rockets. Alright, so we're gonna come around. Alright, so ahead of us through this secret that I ducked into, you can go around and you'll have another secret wall here. If you're real careful, you can activate that spider demon and make him fight the, the uh, uh, the revenant. These revenants are sneaking through. There you go. Come around there, you can aggro some imps. Knock all these guys out, no problem. It takes a lot to get through all those. Okay. <laughs> now that we've cleared out this room, pick up all the ammo laying around, and you can see this blue thing up on the ceiling. Go ahead and approach it, activate it, or step on it, whichever one actually does that. I think I just accidentally stepped on it every time I try to activate it. Kill the demons that pop out. Collect all the ammo and weapons. If you come around this way, here's the secret that you can use to sneakily get past some arachnids and grab the blue key. In case you're not wanting to kill everything on the map, that's something you can do. Okay, re-enter this room. I actually have some cell ammo in this last secret over here. Let's grab that. We we'll have the uh, night vision, the mega armor. Come over this way, you got yourself the soul sphere. And that is everything except for one item and one monster. I think there's a lost soul somewhere. Let's go back the way we came. <laughs> Down here. Flip the switch to reopen this secret. Right up these stairs will be the blue key. So just grab that. Let's head back through this one. I saw a door open all on its own. Uh, what? <laughs> and there he is. <laughs> One imp back here. You can see down there there's another soul sphere just in case you need it. But let's go ahead and open all this. Plasma rifle and another soul sphere. 
And with that, we have every item, every weapon, or every item, secret, and monster kill on the map. Now we can finally proceed to the exit. Which, through the yellow door, blue door, walk over the cyber demon corpse, and we have the exit switch. And with that, we finally exit this level. Max health, armor, got quite a bit of ammo compared to what we had when we entered, so we're doing pretty good on all fronts. And we'll be heading to the last and final mission for episode 1. Or map 11 in most cases. I'll see you guys there.